Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Music Mondays on Understandable English. In this series, I tell you about all the most popular songs and I tell you what the lyrics mean. Today's song is All Star by Smash Mouth. So let's take a look. Smash Mouth was an American band that burst into the music scene or very quickly went and became popular in the late 1990s with their catchy, upbeat or energetic tunes. Tunes are like songs. These tunes that were full of energy. Recently, their music has become more of a meme or a kind of strange popular thing that spreads all over the internet. But their enduring popularity or their popularity that goes for a long, long time, it's enduring, continues to be celebrated and makes them one of the most iconic bands of the late 1990s and early 2000s. But what does this song mean to me as an American who grew up listening to this music? Well, I don't know a lot about Smash Mouth other than this song. Nowadays, I don't think it's possible to hear this song and not think about the endless memes on the internet about it. As always, I can't play the actual music because of copyright, but we can still look at the lyrics. So let's take a look. Starting with verse one, this song is full of good phrases and words, so be ready. Somebody once told me, the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. To roll me or to roll someone is slang, and this means to trick or to steal something from someone or to destroy something. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. A shed is a place where you keep your tools or instruments or cars perhaps. But this is like a phrase we typically say, or you could say I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, the brightest light bulb in the house, something like this. It just means I'm not the smartest, I'm not the best. Dumb is just silly, stupid, or not smart. The thumb is the big finger on your hand. In the shape of an L on her forehead, L like loser. Well, the years start coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. The years start coming and they don't stop coming. This just means that the years or time goes by and it doesn't stop. It just keeps going and going. He's getting older. Fed to the rules. This is a bit poetic, but I think he's saying that he wants to try to be successful by being like everyone else. He wants to do what everyone else does, follow the rules in order to be successful. To hit the ground running, this is a popular phrase, which means that you start from the beginning very successfully, ready to go, start at 100%. To live for fun means to have fun or to live in a fun way. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? You'll never know if you don't go. You'll never shine if you don't glow. The back streets are the quieter places in a city that are not on the main street. So if you take the back streets, this is a phrase that means you go a different way than most people do. You do different things than most people do. To shine is to make light like the sun. And to glow is to give light or to make light in the dark. And onward to the chorus. Hey now, you're an all-star, get your game on, go play. Hey now, you're a rock star, get the show on, get paid. And all that glitters is gold, only shooting stars break the mold. An all-star, this is a person in sports who is the best of the best, the very best. So an all-star is a famous sports person. To get your game on just means to go and play. You can say this with a lot of things. To get something on means to go and do this thing. A rock star is a famous musician who plays rock music. So get the show on just means to go and play music. If something glitters, it means it makes this kind of sparkly light when you move it. Imagine you have some gold. As you move it under the light, it kind of shines and sparkles. It's glittering. A shooting star is a star that is falling from the sky. A mold is a shape you use to make something. Perhaps you have a mold, you pour chocolate, hot chocolate into it, and then in a few minutes it will be hard and you will have a good chocolate bar. To break the mold, 
means to do something differently or to become different than the other people. This is a common, common phrase. And onward to verse two. It's a cool place and they say it gets colder. You're bundled up now, wait till you get older. But the meteor man begged to differ, judging by the hole in the satellite picture. It's a cool place and they say it gets colder. This is very poetic. I'm not sure exactly what it means. Maybe he's saying it's a cool place or an interesting place and it's going to get more interesting. Not so sure. Maybe he's saying that the world is a cold, so not very emotional, not very kind place, and it's going to get worse. But I'm not sure exactly what he wants to say. You're bundled up means you're dressed very warmly, right? We bundle up to go outside in the cold. We dress very warmly. The meteor men beg to differ. That means they don't agree. They say the opposite of what you are trying to say. I don't know who Meteor Man is. It's poetic. Judging by the hole in the satellite picture. This again is also poetic. Perhaps he's talking about climate change or the ozone layer. At this time, people were very worried about the ozone layer, a problem in our atmosphere, but I'm not sure exactly what he wants to say here. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. The water is getting warm, so you might as well swim. My world's on fire. How about yours? That's the way I like it, and I never get bored. The ice we skate is getting pretty thin. This is a phrase, which means it's an unforgiving world. If you make one mistake, everything goes badly. You fail, so the ice is very thin. You might as well do something is just the same as saying, well, because of this, you should probably do this, right? It's warm, you might as well go swimming, cool off. You have some time after school, you might as well do your homework. My world's on fire, how about yours? Just means everything is going very badly for me. What about you? From there, it goes to the chorus, but it's just the same, so let's take a look at verse three. Somebody once asked, could I spare some change for gas? I need to get myself away from this place. I said, yep, what a concept. I could use a little fuel myself, and we could all use a little change. This first part is a classic phrase. Could you spare some change for gas or for something? This is what you say when you are asking for some money on the street. You hear this all the time, probably in films as well. I could use a little fuel myself, a classic phrase. I could use some or I could use a little. This just means it would be very useful to have this thing. So I could use a little fuel means it would be very useful for a little bit of fuel or gas. At the end here, he says we could all use a little change. Change could be coins or money, the little coins that we have. This is called change. Or it could also mean doing something different. So it would be useful to have some money or it could be useful to change how we are living our life. Who knows what he wanted to say here. From there, it goes back to the chorus and repeats out. So congratulations, now you know another English song. Well, that's all for today. See if you can use five of the new words or phrases that we talked about today and write something in the comments down below. As always, I'll help you fix your mistakes. I recommend listening to this song on your way to school or work tomorrow to see how much you learned. If you learned something new, feel free to press like or subscribe and I'll see you next time on Understandable English. Toodles!